around 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.5, number 77. And in this problem, we were being asked to find the dimensions of the bright circular cylinder described. And it was described as the height of this cylinder is one less than half the radius and the volume is 72 pi cubic meters. So with that, let's, let's dive into this. Let me get out of the red pen, go back to a green. So our cylinder, our volume formula for our cylinder is pi r squared h. So we'd like to find this, this height value and this radius value. So as we look at this, I want to take this sentence and think about how to take that phrasing, that, that sentence, and put it into a math equation. So it says the height is, right, so we get h is equal to 1 less. So when I see the 1 less, that's going to be a subtraction and then half of the radius. So I need to take half of the radius and subtract one. That is gonna be my formula for my height. And I, I could substitute that in right there if I wanted to, but I, I'm gonna to opt to just do it slightly different because there's this fraction of one half here. I'm gonna try and solve for the radius just so I can get rid of fractions. So if I wanted to solve for the radius, if we had h equaling 1 half r minus 1, well, I could multiply everything by 2. I would get a 2h over here, right? I would get 1 half times r would just be r, and this would be r minus 2. I could add 2 to both sides. So now I'm looking at r equaling 2h plus 2. I'm going to write it this way. And then I could factor out the GCF and get 2 times h plus 1. Ooh, that doesn't really look like a parentheses. There we go. So that's where you're seeing, oops, excuse me, I don't know what that circle is. That's where you're seeing this button pop up. This button, I don't know why I said button. You're seeing that, that line pop up. I think I said button because I saw that weird circle pop up. Let me see if I can fix this. <laughs> there we go. And I'll highlight it here. Okay, so we've got that. So again, my the only reason I'm doing this is just because we had that fraction here and I'd like to not work with fractions. So I'm going to go ahead and take that expression and substitute that in. Ooh, I really, let me make a better error. I'm going to substitute that in for r right there. So you see me doing pi r squared h. And then when I take a look at 2 times h plus 1, and I'm going to square the whole thing, because we have inside that parentheses multiplication, we're allowed to distribute that power, that exponent, so this will become 2 squared times h plus 1 squared. And you could think of this, if it helps, as this is 2 times h plus 1 times 2 times h plus 1. So you see I really do have 2 squared and then h plus 1 squared. And then I, I just start to simplify that a little bit. 2 squared is 4, right? When I actually FOIL out h plus 1, or I should say when I FOIL out h plus 1 squared, you're going to have a 4 and then you're going to have h squared outer and inner are both h, so I get two of them plus one, right? And then don't forget we still have this h over here and I distribute it through. So I have this now is a semi-simplified version. I wouldn't call it simple, but it's simplified. It's a, a, the equation for my volume. And I wanted to get to that because they told me my volume was equal to 72 pi. So that was the constraint I had that for number 77, the volume was 72 pi. So what I'm going to do here, let me just erase my circle. I'm going to divide both sides by 4 pi. And when I divide by 4 pi, that cancels out. The pi's cancel out here, and it leaves me with 18. So now I've got this cubic equation. When I set it equal to 0, I want to solve for the height because that's what the original direction said, find the dimensions, so I want to solve for height. And at this point, we have a cubic that we want to set to zero, and that's all the stuff that we've been talking about in section 5.5. You could use the rational root theorem and then make a list of all rational roots, but let me scroll. You'll see that what I did was I plugged this into my calculator, and, and it looked like there was only one zero to me between a height of zero and a height of five. So I used my calculator to find that exact value, which was h equaling two. And let me just remind you, I'm going to just transfer this over. Let me write this. Okay, so we had our volume was equal to h cubed plus 2h squared plus h minus 18. Let me just double check that that was the equation I'm dragging down. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. So 
I, I could see that h equaling 2 was a 0, so you see me running through synthetic division just to verify that. And I also could have just verified this on my calculator. So I know the height of my cylinder is 2, and technically it would be 2 meters, right? So height is 2 meters, and now all I have to do is find that, that radius. But we had the equation for that radius from above. We knew the radius was 2 times height plus 1. Well, if I substitute in that value of 2, I'm going to get 2 times 2 plus 1. That's going to be 2 times 3, which is 6. So there are the dimensions of my right circular cylinder, right? I have a height of 2 meters and a radius of 6 meters, and that's why you see that showing up on my answer there. All right, so I hope that helps with number 77. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.